Hey guys, what's up? So, got some uh, EV14 injectors I got off the uh, eBay here, and uh, um, I'm actually doing another video series on my conversion on my early Bronco. So if you want to watch that, watch some of my other videos. But um, I, actually, I want a way to, to back flush these injectors, and uh, I thought I'd try this. I, I I don't know why people like I've seen a lot of videos, other ones on uh, on YouTube, but people are cleaning them. But they're cleaning them through the, the usual path, coming down, you know, the same way the car goes. You know, it puts pressure down and sends it through, but I want to back flush these things. I mean, that's how you normally clean out, like, any corner of radiator or heat exchanger. You back flush it. You want to get the contaminants back out the other way they came in. So, I do actually have some other cool tools. I, uh, like a, I'm going to hook up to this thing. I have a fuel injection and pulsing tool. So, at first, but I need to put some uh, fluid down there, cleaning fluid down there. I'm going to reverse flush it, like I said. And I'm trying to open this up on with one hand here. So yeah, I did another video on that. It's the, the fuel injection, like pulsing tool tester. And then I have some uh, Berryman B12 chem tool. Hopefully they, I don't know if this dissolves plastic or not, but I'm assuming if it's designed to be in a fuel system, it's going to be probably rubber safe and plastic safe because some fuel tanks are plastic so but I will read the uh, I should maybe put in a little test piece of plastic to see if it doesn't melt the plastic because I also want to uh, uh, ultrasonic clean them too but uh, all right let me get going with this I'll put this thing together I'm gonna get a little piece of uh, like a fuel hose and just put the tip on there and just squeeze it in there as I'm pulsing it so all right, let's check this out. All right, guys, so let me show you my little test tool here. A little syringe connected by a little piece of hose there. I have my fuel injection pulsing tool. I'm gonna fire up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray it. I'm gonna squirt it, squirt all the junk. Hopefully, if anything comes out, I don't know a clue, but then I'm gonna go one, two. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spray a, a syringe full of each one of the Berryman B12 here. Um, and see if anything comes out, you know, because there is a non-serviceable uh, injector screen, like EV1, see that little thing in there? That double layer right there? All the uh, EV1 and EV6 injectors actually had a removable screen, whereas with the EV14, there's a screen in there you can't get to, so. All right, I want to back flush this thing, and hopefully if there's any contaminants in there, get it out, so. All right, cool, cool, cool. Hi guys, have the uh, thing fill in there. I pull in fuel injection pulsing tool. I'm gonna spray it right there in one. All right. Hopefully you guys can see that on the camera. Um, I'm trying to do this in a way you can see it. So I'm gonna set the pulsing tool, pulse, and you should hear a clicking sound. And uh, let's go. Right, pulse set for pulse. You guys can hear it. I guess it destroyed my letters. I figured that might with the Sharpie. Nothing came out though. No obvious signs. Okay. Alright, so I am going to do the same thing for each ejector. Alright, same, same thing. 